Welcome back from Winter Haven, California. And I'm standing in a, I'm gonna have to watch the wind here. We are in a, uh, kind of a major corridor here of, well, the highway. Up there's the railroad. Over here's Interstate 8. And it has been a major um, corridor for a very, very long time. The reason I know that is... Is this. These are the ruins of a stage... A stage station. Ran and owned by the... Butterfield Overland Stage Company. And I guess it was in operation until the railroad came through in 1877. So we just... Uh, stumbled across this looking for some uh a spot to camp some blm land down the down the road a piece here and we thought hey we'll have to check that out Speaking of the railroad, here they come now. Trains come through here about every 10 or 15 minutes. That's the first one I've seen that had the empty car. Those are the cars that usually are stacked the double high with those car cargo uh, carrier boxes. So I couldn't find out much more information on this uh, online. I Google searched it and. There's just not a whole lot on it. Other than it was a, a stage station until 1877 when the railroad came through and it was all over. So a pretty old structure, huh? I'll have to dumb down the wind noise a little bit. With some music or something while we walk around this. seen there was maybe a doorway here and maybe a doorway here or a window I started to walk Bella up here but then I realized the amount of broken glass that's all around here so we ended up walking up that way a little ways and and I put her away.
what would be really cool is to find an old photo right photography was out I wonder what this originally you know what this looked like back in the day right there's civil war photos that was 1860s the railroad came through and this went out of operation in 1877 there could be a photo of it that'd be nice to find I will do a quick Google search for it, but I'm not promising anything. It's not always that easy. I thought Bella would be more excited to be in Yuma, Arizona. You know, I mean, it's your home. It's your it's your hometown and everything. She's like, yeah, whatever, Yuma. You know, those grassy areas are. Pretty dang nice too. She says, yeah, the desert. Yeah, the desert isn't at all it's cracked up to be, is it? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? Huh? You know, it's warm and everything, but whatever. Anyway, where we're gonna camp at, it's only like a half I don't even think it's a mile from here. So we're gonna go see if we can find us a, a nice spot. The other thing about this dash cam on this class a you know that windshield's pretty that windshield's pretty far up here you know and it's just not handy to reach it while i'm driving so i forgot i forgot these sports cams as cheap as they are they came with remotes so that's it if i can just push a button oops what happened hey Okay, it's recording. <laughs> All right, let's go. You know what? After that uh, episode back at the pond, you know, banging the old bounder, banging it up a little bit, bending them steps. I don't know what that area is down down there is like by the casino, but this place was right on. I forgot I'd seen this on a map too that was even closer, and this is right off the road, and it's perfectly level. severe we're gonna play it safe and that's that I did not realize our new spot here was on Indian Reservation land. The other spot below the casino, just south of the, uh, the casino, I knew was. This isn't posted, and I just didn't know. Well, the Indian Reservation Ranger guy stopped by and left me know that it was. <laughs> so, anyway, we stayed here last night. Uh, it's a nice spot. The Indian Ranger guy said, if you're going to stay another night, don't worry about last night. He says, if you're going to stay another night, 
it's uh you'll need a permit permits are ten dollars for a night i forget what the weekly rate is but for for 180 dollars you can get a permit for three months which means you can come and go on this it, this location that other location below the casino other various locations for three months put the permit thing on your window and that's pretty cheap staying and giving you rights to be on all their uh these lands out here but there's also a lot of uh you know blm lands that are free so we like free as nice as this is we're gonna move on today uh maybe another time if i knew i was gonna stay in the area i'm only staying in the area till my stickers are ready that could be tuesday probably wednesday so uh i could have got a permit for a couple nights but 10 bucks a night and so free is better um so we're gonna move on i don't know where we're going i think i know where we're going we'll find that out probably in the next video maybe so can you tell it's windy out here and i'm hiding behind the bounder <laughs> anyway thanks for watching uh subscribe like comment share all the usual stuff and that's it we'll see you next time